Is your disposal emitting some very interesting odors? Well, here's some simple, easy ways to eliminate those pesky odors naturally. In this short video, we've gathered fast and easy cleaning hacks to help you get rid of those awful odors in your garbage disposal. Some of them are the DIY way, and then we have a quick, easy way if you don't have the right ingredients around the house. Here's how to banish the odor of your decomposing food and leave your kitchen sink sparkly clean. But first I have a burning question for you. My husband and I have a disagreement. Is it a garbage disposal or a garbage disposer? He likes to say disposer, but I think it's disposal. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. First method is we're gonna turn on the hot water and first flush things through. Now in this step, you wanna remove the rubber stopper out of your garbage disposal if it's removable. Mine isn't. And in the process of trying to see if it was removable, I discovered that the underside of that rubber stopper is disgusting. I'm hoping that this will get it out, but if it's not, I need to make sure to clean that. The next step is to dump in about a half a box of baking soda. And then pour in one cup of white vinegar. Run more water through it and then turn on the disposal. And next for the science project part, vinegar. Watch it fizz. The odor is gone, but the only problem is now it felt smells like fish and chips in here. Which brings me to my next point, lemons. If you happen to have a fresh lemon on hand or one that's going bad that you haven't had a chance to use in time, just cut it in half, run the lemon through the disposal and then follow up with some vinegar. I love lemon scented things. I actually have a lemon scented hand soap, but I love the smell of fresh lemons in the kitchen. So it just smells so good. I love it. The smell will disappear and you'll have a wonderful lemon scent left behind. <sighs> now I know that some people think that all you need is baking soda and water, but there's something magical about the combination of baking soda and vinegar together. It's kind of like a science project. We've tried vinegar by itself and it just drains out immediately and does nothing. And if you use just baking soda and flush it with water, it also doesn't do much. But when you combine the two, you get a magical chemical reaction that cleans and deodorizes way better. Now, when you do remove your rubber stopper, if yours is removable, it probably hasn't been cleaned in a while. So make sure to pop it in the dishwasher for a quick wash. Now it's a commercial method. If you're not the DIY type and you just want to drop a tablet in and have it do something, we have a solution for you too. Just put a Glisten Garbage Disposal Foaming Cleanser inside your disposal and let it do its job. Okay, now I picked this up at my local store. I'll also put a link to it in the video description, but if you don't have the ingredients on hand and you just wanna make it super fast and easy with a lot of satisfaction too, then you can use one of these, so. Now this is what it looks like inside and it's not what I expected um, when I first tried these, but these are biodegradable packages. You're gonna put this right into the disposal like this. Do not open it and pour the contents out. So start with the turned off empty disposal. Make sure there's nothing in it. And then you're gonna run a stream of hot water into the disposal side of the sink, but not directly into the disposal. After one minute, reduce the amount of hot water to a trickle. So I'm gonna just put it down in there. So weird. <laughs> now we're gonna make the water to a trickle. Turn the disposal. Wow! Wow! Look at on both sides too. Wow. Now you gotta keep doing it until all the foam just entirely disappears. Okay. Now we just 
just rinse out this one. <laughs> That's crazy. Whew. All right, now that that's done and it's so sparkly clean, my next thing is to see if I still need to clean the underside of my rubber stopper thing. So let's test it out. I'm putting on some gloves because gross. Uh, yeah, that's still gross. So I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth. I really love this kind, it's called Mr. Sega. I'll put a link to it in the video description. But they're awesome, they're soft, they never get crusty and hard. And I'm just going to clean that out with some bleach. I'm actually just gonna use some Dawn detergent because it helps cut grease. Oh, gross. We're pretty clean. I'm a total clean freak. And look how dirty that is. So I'm glad I caught that. That's certainly gonna cause some smell. <laughs> All that rotting food stuck under there. Ugh. I'm just gonna toss that microfiber cloth in the wash now because it's truly gross, because it's truly disgusting. Now that we're done flushing out the garbage disposal, it's a good time to just give your whole sink a wash. Oh, I, I have my Force of Nature cleaner. It's my favorite non-toxic cleaner that cleans as much as bleach, but doesn't ruin my hands. And that awful smell. And there you go, a sparkly clean sink, plus one that smells great. When the biodegradable pouch comes into contact with water and the disposal action, a cleaning foam is created which scrubs away the toughest grunge buildup and foul odors from the entire disposal, including the blades, sidewalls, and splash guards. So everyone, I hope this was helpful for you. Do me a favor, and if you have a stinky garbage disposal and try one of these methods, let me know in the comments how it went for you. We love sharing and learning simple ways to have a cleaner, easier life. So thanks for being here. And if you like this video, consider subscribing and sharing or even pinning it. That encourages us to keep making them. And it helps make our house cleaner too. We have another video about how to make your own disinfecting wipes. It's really easy and I use them all the time. We'll put a link to that video at the end of this one and we'll see you in the next video.